Hello everyone, Yotam from Tab9 here. In this video, we are going to talk about the JavaScript for each method. So up until not so long ago, whenever you needed to run a serial execution of a certain functionality against a list of elements, let's say numbers in an array, your go-to solution would be to write a for loop, just like this one up here. And then in 2016, the JavaScript ES5 version was released with a bunch of new ways to iterate through arrays. And one of them was the for each method. So let's take a very basic example. We still have the array of numbers and we want to iterate through it without writing a loop. Just use the for each method. So I can create the get doubled function again. It will receive an array as a parameter. I can call it R or I can call it array, but tab nine suggests array and I'm going with the flow. And this array will be attached to a for each method, just like this actually. And the for each method is going to iterate through every element of my array. In this case, tab nine was correct. It will be a number, but I can call it whatever I want. But in this case, it will be a number because I'm going to run through each number. And after that, there will be the callback function or whatever functionality I want to execute on the elements in my array. In this case, I just want to use console log to see what happens when every, not array, when every number is being doubled well, by two, so this is doubled. And now when I will call this function and I will put my numbers as an argument in the parameter, I will see that I'm getting exactly what I wanted. Now let's take it one step further. We have our numbered boxes here and we're going to create a function that will double the numbers in them when I click the double button and we're going to use for each. So I'm going to write this function called double it this time and it won't receive any parameter just yet. Thank you tab nine, but it will use the for each method. So I'm calling the num boxes. Thank you. And it's going to be for each box. Before it was number, now it's each and every box. And we need to take the inner HTML. These are the numbers that we see there. So every box, we will need to take the inner HTML, just like that. But we need to change those numbers from a string to a number because they're HTML, meaning that the inner HTML is a string. It's not a number. So we're gonna, gonna use parse int. And I want to take the box inner HTML and double it by two. Easy. And now we need to add an event listener. So when I click the double button here, it will know that I'm actually calling the double it function. So we need to find the right button. That's the double button. And add an event listener. Add event listener, just like that. Tab nine understands where I'm going with this and I'm going to call the double it. Thank you. And now if I click this, we see that it's actually working. So every time that I'm clicking the double button, the double it function is iterating and executing itself every time on each one of the boxes. And the next thing we're going to do is to create a functionality when every time we click the random color, we want all these boxes to change to a random color, each one to a different color with every click. So first thing we need to do is to create an array of colors. And we can choose any color we want. So let's see what happens when I'm starting to write color names. So tab nine suggests 
green and blue, but we want a little more, let's say purple and maybe gold. And how about orange and maybe also black. Okay, so we have a bunch of, a bunch of colors. And now we need to create two functions. One to choose a random color from the array and another one to actually execute the chosen number to each and every one of the boxes. So the first one will be just a random color. So random color. And doesn't get any parameter. Thanks tab nine. And it will return See what's going on here? Is this what we need? Let's see, tab 9 suggests something very complicated. So we need the colors in a specific place that will be chosen randomly from the length of the array itself, which is the number of the, of the colors that we have in this array. This is pretty accurate, I have to say. Okay, and the second function we'll need here, let's call it random color wash because we're going to wash all the boxes in random colors. So we're going to take all the boxes, not just the numbered boxes, but all of the boxes, everything that, is, that has a class of box, all the divs that have class box, which is all the boxes, all eight, and we're going to iterate through them. So we need to choose all boxes. And that's right, for each box, we're going to talk about its style. You see what I'm seeing here? Yes, this is exactly what I wanted to happen. So we're going to iterate through each box and change its background color from its style property and we're going to use the random color to choose this color for us. And now, just like before, we need to create an event listener and we need the wash button this time. Okay, the wash button. That's the one, we have it here. ID wash button that says random color. And we need to add an event listener. So, add an event listener, click, and but this time we're going to call the random color wash as the callback function. Let's see what happens. And it's working. So now every time we click the random color button, the random color wash is executed and using the for each method to execute the random color function that chooses a random color out from the array of colors here and execute it each time for each box separately. And now for the next trick. Okay, let's refresh this. Now, it's going to be very similar to the last function with some difference. While the random color wash just washed every background property of every box element in, an, in a random color, the random image button will set a different image for each one of the non-numbered boxes. Okay? First thing I need to do is to comment out or the other way around and to use the variable image boxes that I already declared before using the query selector all of every box that has an ID of image, these four. 
and we're going to create a function called get random image not color get random image just like that thank you tab 9 and it's going to iterate through the image boxes just like that that's correct and we're going to address the style again and the background but not just the background but the background image and we're not going to call a random image um, function because we don't have one but instead we will just create a background that is driven from an API so we're going to use backticks here and we're gonna go for a URL of a very cool website called Pixum that provides random photos that can be chosen by their ID number which we don't know so we're going to use some JavaScript inside this string and we want to use the math floor and math random again a little bit like this but we don't need the numbered boxes here we actually just want to choose a random number of anywhere between let's say 0 to 500 because the IDs of the of the photos in Pixum are numbered in numbers that are anywhere between 0 to a few thousands I think and we also want to um, declare the the max width of the photo that will be 103 um, pixels and that's pretty much it and now we just need to add another event listener so every time I'm gonna click the random image button I already have it here so every time I will push it I'm sorry click it not push I will need an add event listener and a callback function that will be this function that we created right now let's see what happens so with every click an HTTP call is coming out and calling for a different picture for each one pretty cool isn't it so now we have a fully functioning app. We can double the numbers in the numbered boxes. We can choose random colors for every, for every box separately. And we can choose random images that will just show up in all of the four image boxes. All of the above is used with the for each method. And I hope this was useful to you. And thank you for watching this and see you in the next video. Bye bye.